Baranor. Baranor. The film's missing. Magnificent pieces, Nishtvar. The XZ-2000 model is most assuredly one of Hans's major masterpieces. Their mission was to bring back any survivors of the catastrophe to Baltimore, where the victims would receive the best care in Dr. Zemyatine's clinic. The Crystal, the fairy usually responsible for licking the towns of Baltimore and Baranor every day, carried the new type of rescuer to the scene of the drama and brought back the survivors of the catastrophe. So Baranor suffered the ravages of a nuclear accident. But according to that film, the automatons you designed with Hans should have helped save lots of lives, right? I'm afraid that's not how things went. Because of Captain Oboe. Ah, that must be Sarah. Please come this way, Miss Walker. I'll introduce you. Miss Walker, may I introduce you to Sarah, my granddaughter? We've actually already met, haven't we, Sarah? I actually owe Miss Walker a candle. Thanks to her calmness and peace of mind, I'm still here and on my feet. She found my medication and gave it to me before it was too late. Donner Vetter. You don't mean you had another attack, do you? Ah, you're being so very naughty, Grandfather. You absolutely must let Dr. Zemiatine examine you. Come on, stay calm, my little child. When I go to the clinic to take the prosthesis to the young Yukol, I'll stop by and see the good doctor. Until then, why don't you make yourself really useful to Miss Walker? She's looking for some way to transport the Yukol caravan to the other side of the lake. Well, I think I've already found the solution. The boat in the film, the crystal, it must be the ship that's docked in the port. If it was able to transport the automatons you and Hans built, it could carry the ostriches across the lake. Ah, that's not a bad idea. But unfortunately, there's a slight problem of size, dear Miss Walker. What on earth do you mean? Obo became a poor wreck when he simply abandoned our automatons in Baranor. The coward now drowns his sorrows in vodka. He's convinced that he fled because of the monster in the lake. Heh! <laughs> Apparently the imbecile saw the monster, Himmelgott. So he went back on his tracks, abandoning all the automatons in Baranor, as well as the people they were there to rescue. Grandfather, I know you're still really angry with Captain Obo because he abandoned the automatons that you built with your friend Hans in Baranor. He was supposed to wait for them. 
They were going to take all the survivors they found in the rubble to the boat and then bring everyone here to safety in Valsambor. But in the end, when he got to the beach at Baranor and saw the disaster and all the dead, he became really afraid. The disease, the radiation. He must have had an uncontrollable panic attack, so he immediately turned back, dumped the machines on the crystal into the lake, and came back empty-handed to Valsambor. And the automatons have been there ever since, in hell. But who knows? Maybe today he'll want to sell. I'm sure Kate will be capable of convincing him to help the Yukels. I have to go do my waitressing shift in the tavern. Come by and see me later on, okay? Captain Oba will be there. All right, then. I'll try and convince Captain Obo. Thank you for everything, Mr. Steiner. I don't know if I really should wish you good luck, dear Miss Walker. Baranur is only an open grave now. that would have suited Hans. Donnerwetter, Miss Walker. I need quiet and concentration if I'm going to complete this prosthesis. I'd really suggest you steer well clear of Captain Obo, miss. He's always basically drunk as a skunk. Captain Obo? What do you want? May I sit down for a second? Go ahead. Well, I'm sorry to impose, but I actually really... You know, you kind of remind me of someone. The wife of the quartermaster that served on board the Crystal after the war. <laughs> Do you realize? He got married to the first cousin of the wife of a machinist. Oh, okay. That's all really interesting, but what I wanted to ask... <laughs> That's a really great story, really. Because did you know? So there. <laughs> so the guy answers... I don't know nothing, Captain. Turns out he was hiding in the broom closet. <laughs> Hilarious. Irina, the wife of the quartermaster. Her name was Irina Malevna. 
crazy how much you look like her. Oh, gee. It's getting late. I have to go. You can finish telling me the story another time, Captain Obo. Is everything okay, Kate? Not really. I'd like to ask Captain Obo if the Yuko Caravan can go on board his boat to cross over to Baranur. But I can't get a straight answer. He's completely sloshed. I'm sorry, miss, but I really think you're wasting your time. He's getting drunk again to forget his crimes, like he always does. To forget he wasn't brave the way a captain should be. Can you believe it? In Baranor, he just picked up and abandoned his passengers. And I know, he'll never want to see that cursed place again. I'm not sure that's true, lad. Even if he does drink a lot, the captain's a pretty good guy. Say the right thing, and you may be able to convince him. If I'm ever lucky enough to find him sober, even for a moment, I need that drunkard to listen to me. Maybe I can help you with that. I'll make him one of my famous small restoratives. After that, he'll want to sleep for three days, but at least his mind will be clear. <laughs> you know the captain better than I do. What can you tell me that will help me to convince him? One thing's for sure, he definitely hates himself for abandoning all those people to their fate over there in Baranor. All of those men, women, and children that Grandfather's army of automatons was going to rescue and bring back on board the Crystal. He has the impression nobody here will ever forgive him and... To be perfectly honest, he's not far wrong. Plus, he's also racked with guilt. So in my opinion, avoid criticizing him. Has Captain Obo taken the Crystal out of port since leaving Baranor? He's been far too drunk ever since then for that. And anyway, the port's been closed since the tragedy of Baranor 20 years ago. Do you think the Crystal is still in sailing condition after all this time? I'm sure there'll be a few repairs to do, but Obo never stopped keeping it in shape, you know. He loves his boat, despite everything. Who knows what became of the victims and automatons the captain abandoned? No, everybody hates the captain for that. But nobody volunteered to take the helm of the Crystal in his place to pick up the survivors. If there are any left in Baranur, they're all dead now, that's for sure. Grandfather says that the automatons would have broken down really quickly with nobody to maintain them. Do you know why Captain Obo fled Baranur? He must have been completely traumatized by what he saw there. The catastrophe, the victims, and then the radiation. He unloaded the automatons on the beach, but he didn't expect they'd bring the survivors back right then. He just cracked, completely snapped. Full astern and goodbye all. Can you even imagine? Afterwards, he came up with that story of a sea monster appearing and attacking his boat. Yes, the old legend of the monster of the lake. Convenient, isn't it? Go see the captain. Sarah will bring you the restorative when it's ready. Take this, Captain. This one's on the house. <laughs> My God! This piss water unbattens the hatches, swamps the deck, and opens the portholes. Hello, Miss. My name is Kate Walker, Captain Obo. We met each other earlier. To what do I owe the honor of your presence at the table of the regrettably famous Captain Obo? The captain seems rather depressed. It would probably be a good idea to go easy on him. I'm listening, miss. This is good news, Captain. You're back at the starting block again. You have a new beginning, a new dawn. <laughs> now that's a good show of spirit, Miss Walker. What'll you be having now? It's my round. The captain knows he's despised in Valsambor. I'll tell him he can change all that. So what? Everybody here hates the captain. I need to try to make him feel better. I'd rather you listen to me. You're my only hope of finding a solution to my problem. 
Do tell me about it, please, miss. Because the Yukuls and their ostriches are stuck here in Valsumbur. It's causing a serious problem among the people in your community. Plus, the nomads have to continue their great journey. Only you, Captain Obo, can defuse the situation by taking them on board the crystal. You're very wrong, Miss Walker. Everybody will tell you that I'm incapable of giving a hand to anyone. I took a look at your logbook, Captain. I read what you wrote when you fled Baranor. So in that case, you know what I am, right? I'm damned and rotten to the court. Let me tell you something, Captain. I know that you need to redeem yourself. And I just may be able to help you do that. How in the hell? Take the Yukul caravan to Baranor in the Crystal. The migration must go that way. Baranor. That's impossible. You can't go to there anymore. Never again. Too much happened. Too many died. And also there, in the water, I saw the hellish red eyes of the monster of the lake. Beast as big and long as my boat. Ask your Yukul friends what they think about it. They call it the Kilak. The evil spirit of the lake. The devil guarding the doorway to hell. Captain, I think it's time for you to clear your head of all these fanciful stories designed to scare people. Everywhere in the world where the water is deep, people have come up with legends designed to keep children safe. Come on, get up, Captain Obo. Show me what you're made of. Hmm. Miss Walker, first of all, I have to say that you're an incredibly stubborn woman. I'd even say that you're a real, um... Anyway, I'll stop there. But I get it. And what am I to conclude from your appraisals? All right, all right. You can get your gang of little savages and board the crystal. I'll take you. Oh, thank you, Captain, really, with all my heart. And thank you on behalf of the Yukels. Oh, but be careful now, Captain Girl. You're not there yet. There are two conditions, and they aren't negotiable. First, we stop by Narodot. It's a little town just a bit south of Baranor. That will mean we avoid the most radioactive zones, but it won't actually take you too far off your path. And second, we also sail by day. I'm not going to finish up on the lake monster's plate. And it sleeps during the day. The beast is usually a bit of a night owl, anyway. I accept, Captain Obo. In that case, all hands on deck now, sailor, because we've got work to do before we can hoist the anchor. Come on, Kate. You hurry off and meet with the captain before he changes his mind. I'll go tell Grandfather to join you on board the Crystal with Kirk. Thank you, Sarah. All right, Captain. How are the preparations going? There's quite a bit of work to do before we can hoist the anchor, Miss Kate. Maybe I can help you out with something. Well, the coal needs to be stocked up. As for myself, I'll look after getting the water tanks ready to be filled. Take this. It's the code you need for entering the hangar where the coal is kept. You actually need it to use the crane to load the coal onto the crystal. Don't forget to open the storage hatchway first. What do I need the crane for? This here is for loading all the coal you get from the hangar onto the ship. Use the code I gave you so that you can access the control post. How do I open the hatchway to the coal storage on the crystal? 
Just turn the wheel on the ship's bridge, sailor. What do I need to do in the hangar? That's where you'll find all the coal you need for the crystal. One container should just about be enough. And don't forget to use the entry code for the crane that I just gave you. I'll take care of that, Captain. We need to set sail as soon as possible, so better hurry up. A folding chute, covered with coal, too.
I should be able to put this button onto something else.
No point wasting the coal by emptying it here. wasting the coal by emptying it here.
Apparently, you did a very good job loading all the coal, Kate. Right. Everything's ready, so we can start filling the water tank. Now we need to connect the water tower to the crystal, then climb up there to manually activate the water flow mechanism. Go ahead, Captain. I'll wait for you here. Out of the question. My sails are too old for that much wind. All right, all right. I'll do it. When you're finished, come and see me on board. There's still a lot to do before we ship shape. I took care of the water, Captain. Everything went smoothly. Is everything okay? No. The ignition key for the crystal! I can't find it anywhere! Without it, we can't even start. Come on, just relax. The key has to be around here somewhere. Good lord, now I remember. Twenty years ago. When I got back from Baranor without the automatons, everybody was really very hard on me, you know. Captain, I don't really see what you- So I spent the whole night in the tavern. You should have seen the state I was in when I got back to the Bridge of the Crystal and- And? And then I threw the crystal's ignition key into the water. I swore I'd never set sail on the cursed waters of the lake again. I saw a model of the crystal at Simon Steiner's. Is he the one who designed the ship? Yes, of course. Maybe he could be of some help then. Maybe. Who knows? So that's it? The ignition key is lost forever? Yeah. I'm afraid so. I'm really sorry, Kate, but we're stuck. I've made a complete mess of everything again. Again. There has to be a duplicate for the key. I don't know. At any rate, when Steiner finished building the crystal, he only actually gave me the one. Don't be so hard on yourself, Captain. I'll find a solution to the key problem. If you say so. 